Hi everyone! So this video is going to be my sort of first impressions of using bendy rollers for the first time. I have never used these before in my life, I have never used them on myself or on anyone else. I have always used foam rollers to set my hair. But when I was at I Love Lucy's, she was telling me about how much she loves bendy rollers and so I thought I'd give them a try because you never know, they could end up working way better than my sponge rollers. So this isn't a full tutorial, it's more just me working out the process of setting my hair with these and then brushing them out, but hopefully it all goes well and a tutorial will come at a later date. Now in order for this to be a reasonably kind of accurate comparison to my sponge roller setting, I am going to be doing basically the same setting pattern and the same method. So if you've watched my dry sponge rolling tutorial um, that I did on dry hair using Suavecita grooming spray and I'm going to do exactly the same. My hair I've just blasted dry actually a couple of days ago. I washed it a few days ago and I haven't done anything to it since then. Um, but it's not too dirty so that's good. And I'm going to be doing the same setting pattern as well as what I would normally do with sponge rollers. So it feels like it could be a little bit trickier to get everything around, but we'll see. The surface of these bendy rods are slightly slipperier than a sponge roller, but I think as long as you use your comb to make sure that everything is looped in nicely, then I don't know if that will be a problem in terms of ease of rolling. And then bend. Ooh! Is that meant to happen? Uh oh. <gasps> hmm. Okay, so that automatically wants to do that, which I'm not so keen on, and it's feeling a Oh, very loose. Hmm, okay. Let's try that again, shall we? I think I must need to roll it a little bit tighter. I'm trying to be really make sure I'm rolling these ends like a ribbon, so like flat to the, the roller. Because if you twist too much, you're going to get a very different curl, which I don't want. Maybe I meant to do it this way. No, that doesn't seem right. I feel like it should be this way. I just don't want to stay in. This does not bode well. Oh god. Um... This is not going well so far. More suavecita. Okay. You can do this. You can do this. I'm gonna try and really keep that tension quite high. Keep it nice and tight. And then, okay, is that it? I guess that's it. I guess we'll see tomorrow. Okay. Oh my god, these are going to be so uncomfortable to sleep in. I can tell already. Oh dear. Better be a nice curl and worth it. I'm 
really dousing it in the grooming spray just because it's been a couple of days since I washed it and it's not been curled at all so it is quite kind of flat and straight so I want to make sure that there's enough grooming spray to really set this curl. I'm probably going to give it an overall spritz at the end as well just to be doubly safe. Oh god I hope this works. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it now, a little bit. <laughs> I'm still not sure if I'm twisting it the right way. I hate it when this happens. I need probably three more and I've got one. So, always the way. Luckily, I have a little packet of sponge rollers that I recently bought on eBay or Amazon. And they are about the same size. I bought these for the back of my head. Um, since my hair is a little bit shorter at the moment, so I am gonna just have to switch to those for this last bit. All right, so that's done. I've got three of the little sponge rollers at the back. Now what I'm gonna do is, I guess, just make sure that they're all twisted right and that nothing's too loose. I'm a little concerned about this front one here and kind of how this might end up getting quite dented by the fact that this is sort of rolling forward. So what I'm going to do is kind of the same principle as the bar with the sponge rollers if you've watched my sponge roller tutorial and that's to take a little dinky clip or pin curl clip and just kind of secure the hair to the scalp and what that does is it just sort of stops this from wriggling around too much and hopefully I will avoid any kind of annoying dents in there. This one needs to be crossed a bit more. Overall, I mean, once I got the hang of it, um, I found it reasonably easy to put them in. Uh, I guess it's not quite as simple as just slotting a bar over with a sponge roller. You do have to kind of twist it and things, but it's, you know, it's not too bad. I'm gonna give it a good spritz of my Suave Cedar. And I'm running out. And they're like all sold out everywhere, so hopefully they restock soon. And now I'm going to try and wrap. Uh, I'm going to see if this, my silk turban, slots over the top. It might be a little bit trickier because it's sort of, all the rollers are just sort of sticking out in every direction. Might fit. This turban is wonderful though. It stays on really well. Better than a, a scarf, definitely. And I always tend to leave this front bit out just because if you put a scarf or my, my turban across here, you are definitely going to dent that front section. Alright, well it fits, so that's good. It's very hard. I think sleep might be a little elusive tonight, but it's all for a good cause. We will see how it goes. And I'll check in tomorrow morning, brush it out, see what it's like. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Good morning. So I slept in my seat overnight with the bendy rods and actually it wasn't quite as uncomfortable as I was expecting. They are certainly a lot harder than a sponge roller, but the benefit is, is that because they are basically half of the width, there's not quite as much bulk on the side. So there's a bit of a pro and a bit of a con of, of either or. So yeah, pleasantly surprised as to the comfort of them, 
bear in mind that I seem to have quite a high tolerance for this sort of thing. And if you find sponge rollers uncomfortable to sleep in, then these probably aren't going to be much better. But it's always worth a shot. So let's see what we've got. I'm a little nervous as to how curly I'm expecting this to be. Everything has stayed in pretty well, so that's good. Yeah, there's nothing falling out. Let's just take it all out and see what we've got. Wow, certainly tighter than my usual sponge roller set. I have some crispy kind of ends going on. That's mostly because I used a little bit more of the grooming spray, the Suavecita grooming spray than I guess I would normally use. Um, so I think to start with brushing out, I'm gonna start with my Denman Jewel Bristle Brush, which is just a little bit softer and I find it gentler on brushing out any kind of crispy, crispy curls. So let's see how this goes. I might end up like a big fluff ball. Ooh. Promising, promising. It's too early to judge it though. I'm going to switch to now my Deadman, it's the 7 row hard bristle brush. I kind of like to use the softer one first if I'm needing to really like break up curls and sometimes if you do have a crispier set it can be a little bit knotty and I feel like the softer brush to start with is good because you're able to break through all of those kind of knots without tearing at the hair too much and then I'll, I usually switch to this one. The tighter set of this is certainly a little bit harder to brush through than my usual but you just need a bit of patience. You never want to go too crazy on the brushing if you have fine hair or easily damaged hair because that can be when you get a bit of breakage. Alright, so I've been brushing it for probably a good 10 minutes or so um, and I'm pretty much able to like brush through completely now and I've been just trying to work on relaxing the curl a little bit and, and sort of making it start to form some sort of wave. It's still very fluffy but I can see potential in the, you know, the waves through the midsection. I think I'm now going to use a little bit of an oil. This is the Davenis Oi Oil. And I just like to use this when I want to just add a little bit of a defrizz element. But also I like to use it after a set because sometimes after a set it can feel a bit dry. Um, and the oil just feels like it's going to moisturize it a little bit. It's a very light oil, the Davenis one, so there's not too much of a worry of it weighing down the curl or anything like that. But it doesn't have any hold, it's not like a pomade. Now I'm going to try and do the swoop part. Uh, 
I'm going to be interested to see how this goes because it's certainly a much smaller roller size than what I would normally go for. I have the suspicion that in future sets if I do kind of keep using the bendy rollers then I will be using the larger kind of sponge roller just for that very first front section to ensure that I can get a slightly more relaxed curl to work with the swoop. But I think because I did the set on dry here, that means that the curl is not quite as intense as if I'd done like a full wet set. So normally I like my swoop to be a little bit kind of longer in the swoop so it comes down a bit more here but because it's so curly I'm gonna just sort of leave this here for now and see what the rest of the hair does because I might end up just kind of keeping this like a very full tight curl through the section Okay, so this is the end result. I just sort of fumbled my way through it trying to find the best way to brush it out to suit the set. Um, so I know that some of you might be wanting a bit more detail in what I was doing, but what I'm gonna do is, since this has been a semi-successful set, I am going to just do it a few more times, get used to working with this tighter to curl, and then I will film a full tutorial that kind of really goes through step by step and in a little bit more detail. But overall, I am pretty happy with the result. As I said at the start of the video, I have basically always, always used sponge rollers. I have never really used anything much else for a wet set. So I'm glad that uh, trying something new has resulted in a successful result. Uh, my pros and cons for the bendy rollers. Pros would be that you do get a tighter curl. I mean obviously they come in different sizes, but you do get a tighter curl. Um, they aren't as squishy as a sponge roller, so I think my curls in general were, I guess, a little bit more similar to a hot tongue set because they're always a very nice full curl. I also like that it's quite a smooth surface. I think that might also give a slightly smoother result. Because it is a tighter curl, I have a little bit more of a um, wave through the midsection, whereas normally with my sponge rollers, um, it's more it, the curl is more focused on the bottom. The cons, I guess, would be the fact that they're not quite as easy to sleep in or quite as comfortable. Um, I find them a little bit fiddly with the twisty part, but I think that would, you know, become quite easy and second nature once I've had a bit more practice. I think one thing you would have to be careful of if you're trying these for the first time is the temptation to wrap the hair around the whole rod in sort of a spiral motion and that is not going to produce a vintage curl. So I think you do have to try, even though it's tempting because it is long and you have all that surface area, um, I think you have to treat it like a, a, just a regular roller and wrap it around, try and wrap it like a flat ribbon and that way you're going to get that true vintage curl. But yeah, I mean overall I am pretty impressed and I am looking forward to perfecting my brush out so that I can record a full tutorial for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I am going to list all the products that I used today in the description box below. Make sure that you check out my other tutorials. I do have a dedicated one on sponge roller setting and then the brush out as well as a couple of other hair tutorials. If you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and my blog. And I'll see you next time.